Sup, so, Microsoft just announced the new Surface Pro 11 with some nice upgrades. The real question is though, is it worth it? Well, let's talk about it. The Surface Pro 11 is Microsoft's professional 2-in-1 device that combines the form factor of a tablet and the usability of a laptop. And it starts at $1,000 for the LCD version and $1,500 for the OLED model, which the starting price is actually pretty reasonable. But it does have one catch. Let's see what it comes with. For the form factor, the 2-in-1 sports a 13-inch 120Hz LCD or, if you upgrade, OLED display. Which sounds fantastic because that means Microsoft is not forcing customers to pay extra for the OLED screen, but you can if you want to. Because yeah, that extra $500 is a lot for most folks. So the option to go for either or is good. With that said, the model is super thin and light, so very portable as expected. Meaning for frequent travelers and students, this is looking to be very usable. Now in regards to connectivity, usability is taken down just a tad. We're seeing the necessary ports, two USB-C's plus the Surface Connect port, but nothing else besides them, which is a shame. So in terms of connecting multiple things, you'll probably need a dongle. And speaking of connecting accessories, this device has a bunch of add-ons, or really necessities, to be able to use this device to its greatest potential, such as the keyboard, which is sold separately, at a pretty high price. So Microsoft is definitely recuperating from that low starting price with these additions. So that's the catch with this. So yes, it's still pretty economical, but the price is not as it seems. To make up for that though, the meat and potatoes. The internal specs. Similarly to Apple's MacBooks a few years ago, the Surface Pro is now sporting new ARM chips, which Microsoft claims much better performance and battery life compared to the previous generation. Now, no concrete numbers have been released yet, but it does seem like the Surface Pros will finally have that performance upgrade everyone's been waiting for, which is great. Faster processors are always good news, which to try not to get too far into the weeds here, adds a whole slew of AI features, including recall, allowing users to find old documents they open on the device by describing it, in addition to Copilot, which is Microsoft's AI, and other features found in the articles linked below. And while these new things sound cool, we definitely have to wait and see until the reviewers get their hands on them. Overall though, internal specs wise, this device is looking to have quite the upgrade, with even 16 gigabytes of RAM. Finally. Now storage wise, this is still an area that Microsoft needs to give more attention to unfortunately. 256 gigabytes starting, which is most definitely not enough for most people. Thankfully, the SSD within the device is accessible and swappable, so you can always upgrade it to your discretion. Now in regards to battery life, you will be pleased. Because with this laptop's new processor, you can see over 10 hours of use on a single charge. Which would be great, a significant upgrade from the previous generations and something that's on par with the competition's offerings. But we'll have to wait and see. And lastly, for the operating system, the Surface Pro 11 will rock Windows 11, with those new added features I talked about. So this device is definitely looking to be the flagship 2-in-1 for Microsoft. As a result, let's talk about who it's for in my verdict. So, the Microsoft Surface Pro 11, a substantial upgrade from before with new processors and even a new screen if you upgrade. So then, is it worth it? Well, comparing the options, there's one I would definitely recommend over the other for most of you. That being the $1,000 non-OLED variant compared to the OLED one just because of the price. For most of you, that $500 upgrade, although there is an increase in performance and whatnot, is probably not worth it. In general, this device seems best for students, workers, businessmen, and just good consumers. And for most of you, you probably don't need a super pretty screen or super powerful processor. Now, if you do need those, go for it. But for the average consumer, I'd say it's best to save your money and just focus on your needs. In regards to those AI features, yeah. There's a lot. ChatGPT and the whole AI world exploded over the past year or two, and things don't seem to be slowing down. So if you're comfortable with the new AI integration within the software and even hardware of the devices, you'll love the new Surface Pro. But if you're not, Microsoft has other offerings as well. And that was the Surface Pro 11, a powerful upgrade from what came before and an exciting time for Microsoft. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus, just take it, that's her. Thank you very much much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.